video is about the 400th birthday celebrations of Prince Dara Shukro, which was organized by Fives on 20th March 2015 at New Delhi, India. चार सौ साल के बाद तारा शिक्षकों को याद किया क्योंकि हिस्ट्री में जो जो विजयी होते हैं उनको तो याद करते हैं लेकिन जो विजयी नहीं होते उनको भूल जाते हैं लेकिन ये बात बिल्कुल साफ है कि बादशाह होने के अलावा तारा शिक्षकों में जो उन्होंने कंट्रीब्यूशन दिया वो एक तरह से अनपेरलड है As far as the political aspect is concerned, I would like to say that in history we call what is called the Helen's Nose Toy of History. That is to say, if the nose of Helen was different, then she would not have been captured at Troy, and there would not have been a long war with Greece fought. At Greece, or you might say. So, as far as the chances are concerned, supposing Clive had lost at the Battle of Plassey, then what would have happened? Would the British have conquered Bengal and the rest of India? Or let us say, as another instance, supposing the Allies had failed. To invade Europe, would Europe have been the same as before? But anyhow, as far as speculation is concerned, we certainly can speculate. First, I would like to say that although Dara was more concerned with spiritualism than battles. And things like that. He was not the only Mughal king who devoted himself also to spiritualism. I am talking especially of the case of Jahangir. Jahangir was also interested in spiritualism. In fact, there was a Hindu rule, Hindu saint who lived in a hole. He walked there, discussed spiritualism with him, and invited him to come and live at Mathura. Also, as you know very well, he imprisoned Sheikh Hamza Sir Hindi. As far as Dara is concerned, you may say that Dara did not have a Noor Jahan to support him, but then he had his sister. Jahanara, who was with him, with Bayamir, and she was one of those to whom all the brothers, Dara, Barat, Aurangzeb, corresponded if they wanted any favor from Shah Jahan. So politically, she was very alert, and of course, as you very well know. After the imprisonment of or of Shah Jahan, she chose to live with him. But after she came back, Aurangzeb honoured her and gave her the first position. So, as far as political matter is concerned, Dara might have been able to succeed. At least he would not have made. Many of the mistakes which Aurangzeb made, like reintroducing jazia or making a breach with the Rathors, or for that matter, executing the Sikh Guru Tegh Bahadur. So, as far as his political acumen is concerned, it is something which he might have succeeded because. There were so many other Mughal rulers in the past who had succeeded, but of course, if 
Aurangzeb had been defeated, he would have gone to South India back, and he would have then created a very serious problem for Dara to conquer the South. Whether Dara would have been able to capture Shriga in the East and Borad in Gujarat, one cannot say. But at any rate, as far as South India is concerned, South India would have been under the control of Aurangzeb. And maybe it was not a bad thing. If North India was under one ruler and South India under another, then it could have been a matter in which the Europeans, the French and the English were not able to penetrate. So one would say that it is a speculative matter. But I would also like to say the belief that if Dara was defeated, liberalism was defeated in India is a false idea. That is so because we devote all of our attention to one individual, that is Aurangzeb. And even as far as Aurangzeb was concerned, he was not successful in instituting Sharia to the country. In fact, people close to him, such as the Wazir Asad Khan, there is a story about him that his expenses on the haram, song and dance and drinking was so much that it was beyond his salary. And also, please remember that Aurangzeb instituted Jazia 22 years after his reign. He knew very well that this was supposed to be Vajib. And yet, according to the sources that we have, it was proposed to him earlier and he rejected it on political grounds. So it was reimposed on political grounds. And within half a dozen years of his death, his erstwhile wazir Asad Khan and his Mir Bakshi Zulfikar Khan abolished Jazia. Not only did they abolish Jazia, they recreated the high positions of the Rajput Rajas. Why talk of all these people? Even Bahadur Shah, who succeeded Aurangzeb, called himself a Sayyid. And he called Ali to be designated as Vasi in the uh, Khutma, on which the Orthodox Bulgars resisted. He had to abolish it. But there was a breach at that time between Orthodoxy and the Mughal emperors. And as far as other things are concerned, where temples are concerned, or where music and dance are concerned, 18th century was a period of liberalism. So efforts of Aurangzeb to institute a rigid orthodox regime did not succeed. I'm not saying this to denigrate Dara. What I'm saying is that she was in the main ethos, in the main tradition. The main tradition was not one of Aurangzeb. Aurangzeb failed both politically and as far as his narrow religion view was concerned. I would not like to spend much more time. I would like to say that Dara could have succeeded. And even though he did not succeed, the liberalism which he instituted lived on. Thank you very much.